Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, uh, I am at Vero Beach uh, on the Barrier Islands in Florida, right next to Disney's Vero Beach Resort. We're at a little park called Wabasso Beach Park, uh, and I have got the uh, Dajang Innovations Air 2S with me today. So uh, I thought I'd put this little guy up in the air and uh, take a look out at the beach. There's a few people here, but I think we can avoid them. We can take the drone out over the water. Uh, it's a warm day, it's in the 80s, although it's cloudy. There's a little bit of a breeze. It said, uh, I think it said nine mile an hour sustained and nine, 19 mile an hour gusts, something like that. It is class G airspace, so we're good to go, uh, according to, to uh, uh, the uh, FAA before you fly app. So, Without further ado, this is something different for the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. We're gonna get some Ron Brown style beach footage. Uh, let's quit messing around. Let's get this bird in the air. Okay, we're gonna take off on the boardwalk here. I'm gonna leave it in 30 frames per second so that we can zoom uh, if we want to. Uh, I'll take a quick look at the safety menu. In fact, it's still finding satellites, so good time to do that. Uh, looks good here. Uh, not asking for any kind of calibrations. I'm saying 35 meter return to home altitude is good. Uh, so yeah, we're good to go. Starting recording now. And we got our home point, so I'd say that's time to take off. Uh, I'm gonna do a manual takeoff, both sticks down and in. And up we go. And I'm gonna move it out over here. Bring it down a little. And let's turn it around and get a look back at us. I think the, uh, you can see where I'm standing here. And you might, you might get a little peek at Ron Brown there if you, uh, you know, the sharp-eyed among you are gonna see Ron Brown uh, sitting there. I think it's time for our, uh, for our droney, and I think I've got a path here that I cannot fly over people and get out over the water. So reverse and up now, and we're gonna go really high on that up stick so that we're, not, we're way above everybody and nobody's worried about it. Yeah, the drone was definitely getting blown around in the wind there a little bit, but we're, uh, we're out over the ocean now and looking good. So you can see where I took off from there and uh, we were able to avoid go between people there. We're about 26 meters high. I am gonna check uh, on the, uh, I'm gonna go back in. I wanna make sure there's one thing on control. I wanna make sure that we're in follow mode and we are. So I just had the other day, I had a flight where that changed on me without me changing it. So, uh, so I wanted to check out, check that out. So we're just gonna kinda go sideways down the beach here and give you guys a look at this. Pick that camera up a little bit. You can see it's kind of a cloudy day, but I can tell you it's warm. So I'm going, I'm moving the drone sideways north here. And what you're gonna see here in a few minutes, you can see the park that we're at. It's a small little park uh, with beach access. And we kind of had a tough time uh, finding parking. Uh, but uh, what you see right next to us there, that is the Disney uh, Vero Beach Resort. And we may be able to get in closer, closer to that. So uh, if you're a Disney Vacation Club member, this is one of the resorts that's available to you uh, through Disney. So in fact, I can see there's going to be uh, there's going to be ways that we're going to be able to get in maybe a little bit closer because uh, there's not a lot of people on this part of the beach, and they've got their uh, their Disney supplied uh, umbrellas and so forth. We got 23 satellites. We're looking good. Uh, everything's looking good on this guy. So, and I see Ron Brown has just taken off in the uh, in the little. Uh, 
Autel Nano Plus, and it's a windy day, but the little Nano is doing okay. Yeah, lots of folks on this beach. So let me spin around here and kind of give you a look. That's Disney's pool right there. This Vero Beach Resort goes on for a ways. This is pretty cool. Look at this. Kind of give you an idea of what all this looks like. And again, this is the the uh, Barrier Island. Ron, is this still called Hutchinson Island? Susan, is this still Hutchinson? I don't think. Yeah, so this is north of Hutchinson Island. I think I hear aircraft. Yeah, I, I hear an aircraft. Where is he at, Ron? We need to get right eyes on him. Right above the water. Oh, yeah. Holy cow. Yeah, he's right above the water. Yeah, we were looking up. I mean, this guy is literally... He was feet above the water. Yeah. Yeah, that was something, uh, yeah. Let me tell you what, no ADSP squawking either. I've got ADSP on the DJI Air 2S. Not a squawk, nothing. No warning of manned aircraft at all. So you got to keep your eyes open. Uh, but it was interesting that he didn't have ADSP on. We heard him, uh, but boy, I'll tell you what, that's, uh, that's an eye opener right there. That guy was that guy was feet off the water. Not wish I'd have got a picture of him. So I'm gonna see if I can get closer. So there's no people over the beach right here. I'm gonna see if I can get you a better look at the resort. So this is the resort like here. So it looks like they have some individual cab. They got some, you know condo style rooms like we're all used to let's let's grab some altitude and take a look here we'll just move sideways down here in fact let me look down so I'm get I'm gonna get over the uh, the bushes here so that we know we're not gonna be over the top of anybody and uh, let's kind of move side in fact let's grab a little altitude here too we're a little Kind of get the bigger picture here with some altitude but that's the vero beach resort so if you're a disney vacation club member uh, that's something that you have look to look forward to and at the top of the screen there that is uh highway a1a and i believe that's a state highway there's the pool they got they got quite a pool here and again, I want to make sure we're over the green part. But look at that. This is this is some resort. Definitely going to have to stay here one of these days. Always wondered about this. Always wondered about this resort. Okie dokie. Let's uh, let's do it. Let's do a pull away from this guy. Let's go out to sea and pull away so you can get a good look at it and look at that isn't that something yeah I just got a strong wind warning here so Ron Ron is just telling me he got the same thing there it went away yeah yep I dropped down I'm about uh, 58 meters high so that's yeah you know about a hundred let me think about that uh, about 200 feet. That's about 200 feet high. So there's where we're flying from right there. There's, there's the park. Let's go further down the beach this direction. Now let's just travel down the beach here a little ways. You can see how long this island is and there, there is a lot of waterfront homes here. <laughs> Uh, this is cool. And the wind is really picking up. Ron was just telling me a minute ago there's a storm blowing in. But we're going to be landed long before that storm is a problem for us. Some beautiful homes here right on the beach. Can you imagine? We don't have that in Idaho. Okay, let's swing it around here 
And, uh, and let's go. You know, one of the things I'd like to do is look down and see what we can see in the water. So we're just straight down here. Let's drop some altitude. Actually, I should bring it back my way to do that. Yeah, I, I lost some signal there. So I'm going to pick it back up here. Grab some more altitude so that we uh, so we don't get any signal interference. Pick it up, come back this way, and then as soon as we get as soon as I get a little bit uh, stronger signal, I'm going to drop it down. And I hear another aircraft, but he is behind us. Let's bring this guy down. Let's just go on by here. Let's, uh, I'm going to throw it into sport mode. Let's just head. Uh, this would be heading south. So we're heading due south. We're about 15 meters, which is about 50 feet off the water here. Give you a look. Let's move out a little bit. I see some folks in the water there. Let's stay away from them. Get a little bit further out. And there is the where we're at in the resort again. Let's just head this way. We got a good strong signal. And in sport mode, we are moving right along. We're at about 10 meters per second. I believe this is going into the wind. But let's, uh, let's look down at the water here and see what we can see. Not much, because with the waves, you really don't see much. It's not like you're going to see a lot in the water. Folks, are it's not stopping people from enjoying themselves, though, that's for sure. It's fun seeing the, uh, the shadows of the clouds out, uh, out over the water here as well. Getting really good signal this direction. Let's uh, let's go sideways here. And again, you see these houses. There are some uh, some folks here that uh, that have got some money in these places. There's no doubt about it. What a beautiful spot. Okay, we are at 46% battery. I'm going to bring this guy back. And, uh, and we'll bring it back in for a landing and we'll see maybe if we can get another look at the, uh, at the resort there. Maybe we'll uh, take advantage of the zoom as we go by. And we're well out over the ocean from where these people are at. So this is the resort right here. I'm gonna go into two times zoom. That's digital zoom. So we're just cropping in on that sensor. I haven't moved the drone. We're just gonna move sideways here. In fact, I'm going to put it in cinema mode. I was in sport mode there. Let's move it a little slower. And uh, I mean, this is a, this is a beautiful resort, and you can see folks are taking advantage of uh, the facilities that Disney provides there. You either go out on the beach or in that pool. Disney's got their own private access to the beach there. This is good stuff. This evidently, I'm going to say this is probably the main building here. And again, understand that we are we are uh, zoomed in here, so we're not as close as it looks. In this video, we're at two by zoom, cropped in on the sensor. Let's go back out to one by. Oh, I, I, that was four by. Excuse me. Let's go back out to one by. And there you can see actually our distance. And I hear Ron, he is close by here. You bringing it in, Ron? Coming in. So Ron's bringing in the little Nano Plus. As soon as he lands, we'll bring this guy in for a landing. And you can see where we're at there. We're kind of, we're under that little uh, cover there uh, on, the end of the, on the end of the boardwalk. I see that little orange drone right in front of me. Master pilot Ron Brown bringing it down let's see if we can uh, I'm gonna come back 
in between these people right here so we're not over the top of anybody so we came in in between these folks we're back down Ron is just about to land here let's see if we can get that on video there he is Ron Brown Ron Brown executed a perfect landing in smooth mode yeah Let's, uh, let's, let's bring this guy back in. Down we come. Drop that camera straight down so we can see what we're doing. Bringing her down. Yeah, with that Nano, I'm sure that's, uh, that's something. Yeah, my, my hat's, boy, a, a bird just uh, flew right by the drone there. I was staring up at it. So we're gonna look down here. What the, what my concern is is that a leg goes uh, in in one of those cracks. Yeah, because of obstacle avoidance, the drone isn't wanting to land. So I'm gonna turn OA off here. Hang on here. Safety off. It's on brake. And then we're going to bring this guy down. So, 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 so what happened there is I wasn't able to bring it forward uh, because of uh, uh, pick that camera back up. Or no, I had the camera up. It picked the camera up itself. So I wasn't able to bring it forward because of the obstacle avoidance. Let's stop recording. You know, I always forget something, Ron. I didn't do a screen recording. You did what? Didn't do a screen recording. Oh. That's okay. It's no big deal. But. To yeah, new that's right true. So. That, that, exactly. Hey, okay, the DJI Air 2S proved itself a worthy drone in the wind there. We got one little strong wind warning. Uh, when I got down low, when I was to the south of us, I had a little bit of a, the, the signal started to weaken a little bit, so we turned around and uh, came right back. But uh, what a cool area. It, it's really windy right now, so, uh, you know, the drone, I'm, Kudos to the Air 2S, it handles the wind uh, very well. But got you a look at uh, Disney's Vero Beach Resort. So yeah, we'll definitely come back to that resort one of these days. Uh, so yeah, and you gotta look at the ocean. Like I said, it was kind of windy with all the breakers. You couldn't really look down into the water like I was hoping that we might be able to. Uh, but it still, it was a good look and, and got a look at the, uh, at the beach and some of the beach homes, etc on the uh, on a barrier island and i don't know the name of this barrier island i'm going to look it up on the map and i'll put it up on the screen right now so uh i guess that's about it this is marcus crawford with the idaho quadcopter channel out and if you like this kind of content please consider subscribing to my channel most of all i absolutely appreciate you taking the time to look at this video and we will uh see you on the next one uh me and Mr. Mr. Ron Brown over here. Come on, Ron, you got to say something to the camera. Uh, welcome to Wasabi uh, Island uh, uh, in Florida here. A uh, good place to uh, spend the day at a park and fly a drone if you got one. Right on. Ron thanks you. Drone Nation thanks you. And I thank you. See you guys later.